With these. <laughs> I feel like using my fingers. Then. You got it. I mean, you got it in one, you know? I mean, you really got the whole technique down so quickly. Look at this now. Look, he's got the idea. And do you think it's better to look at an actual person while you're doing this? Don't. To see how it's going? No. Picasso said, I don't paint what I see. Mm -hmm. I paint what I know. Make this your reality. The real person, forget about it. It's in here. Yeah. Okay? okay. You know where the person is. <coughs> yeah. Make it come out there. Okay. This is all from the horse's mouth, you know. Okay. Okay. Can, okay. I, can I stop ruining her painting now? No, no, okay. You can, but let me yeah. have a go. Patty Avoid is a very skillful <laughs> <laughs> avoid. <laughs> <laughs> the tough one, okay? Which is I mean, for the, easy bit. the high cheekbone. Oh, yes, right? okay. She's seven. So, seven, I don't care. She's a gorgeous seven-year-old. High cheekbone, just like the model she wants to be. A dream girl. She is dreamy. That's true. That makes some difference, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Just that little bit. Okay? Yeah. And, and, and that's what we're after the subtlety of it all. And when it works, one nice thing about this canvas is you really do get a great cross, cross hatch in the thing. I don't like that hard line. No, I don't like that. doesn't end in a hard line, right? No. no Keep you painting. <laughs> you can do it. So oh, give, you, give me your challenge. There you go. <laughs> That's her makeup one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't so hard to, it wasn't so easy to smudge it on the uh, canvas line of takes it or something. Okay. Patty did a great job. Let's give Patty a little round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. It stepped right up and, uh, and made it easy to just finish it up a little bit here. So that Siobhan, now it's all in your hands, right? Yep. I want you to varnish this. Your sister will give you the lacquer. You varnish the whole thing. Although, maybe you could do the horse to catch up to that. Couldn't you do that? Mm -hmm. You could do that right now. Got it, okay? Mm -hmm. Put that up next to them. Let's get another one up here. Who else? Who else do we want to do things? Who's that? Is that John? This, no. This is me. That's you. Oh, good. Put it up here. Where's John? Where's John? He's back here. Okay, get yours lined up, John. I haven't seen it there. One at a time. She's going to be on her cross line. She did? Yeah. Hello. You know you're doing that? Of course she did. But, yeah. Put it into four, yeah. Brilliant. You're ahead of all of us. Uh, I think there's a couple of things right away that are very, very interesting. The fact that you go out at the top, you go uh, out at the side, you're cropping. And, uh, you know, the cropping didn't come in until they saw the Japanese woodcuts. And that's what makes uh, Van Gogh so exciting, is that he was influenced by those Japanese woodcuts, and he saw how they crop, the cropping, the Japanese, if you want to really study sometimes, something amazing. But you've done that. You cropped her out here, you cropped over here, you almost cropped there. In fact, you should probably just the hell with it, you know, send it out of there, never mind edging it. Okay. Just send it out of there. Uh, good. <laughs> okay. What are those hands doing? They look like they're going like this, huh? They were going to yeah, be hold, I don't know, holding something, or be making or something. Making bread. Yeah. Making bread? Yeah. But they're a bit kind of um, unusual. Uh, yeah. Well, I like the, that's yeah. what I like about them, that they're not, they're mysterious. Okay. And I think there's a, there's a mystery to the whole thing. In fact, she's very iconic. She's like a, an Inca princess or something, isn't she? I mean, there's something otherworldly about her already. Could be a prayer. Yeah, yeah. could be a prayer. It's, could be like, a prayer. it's like those yeah. pieces of pottery yeah. Yeah. they had in Pompeii, where yeah. like, there's only like bits of the painting left. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. They were really bad at drawing hands, so... <laughs> Arthur Gorky was terrible at drawing hands. He was still a great artist. He couldn't even draw. He wouldn't even do them. He, he'd wrap them in, in, okay. in white gauze. <laughs> <laughs> he, he couldn't do them. 
Okay, yeah, no, that's not unusual. Don't worry. In fact, look, Picasso couldn't do hands either, but he did Picasso sausage finger hands. And it works. So however you do your hand, it's your hand. Don't say, I can't do hands. Yeah. You can do hands. You do them your way. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm not going to do much more because you have a lot to do. Yeah. And you're a week behind, and I think mm -hmm. you're doing very well. Uh, you're right on the money, kid. I like it. I think you should spend a lot of time looking at it, dreaming about it, and wondering what's going on. If anything, maybe nothing is going on. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Only you know that. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Next. Next. Well, I put John here, don't you? Again, I'm brave. Does anybody want to say something? I'm sorry. I mean, this is supposed mm -hmm. to be uh, mm -hmm. a round robin. You want to say anything uh, about the, the last painting? Anything? No. Mm -hmm. to, to add? Okay. All right. This is John. This is John. How oh, interesting. John, my God, really, you really... Uh, <laughs> You're amazing, yeah, you're amazing. What a good work. Wow. I mean, those are eyes that you can't even begin. <laughs> Can you? I mean, I can't begin yeah, to understand it. I mean, talk about hiding your feelings. You know, all right? Am I right? I mean, he's drawn the shades. The veil. There's nothing there. <laughs> you're going to look all you want. You know, there's nothing there. <laughs> I ain't giving up, no. <laughs> Whoops. What happened? I just touched the clock. It's good. Okay. Did I offend you, John? <laughs> <laughs> Don't look too deep. No, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. No, look, this is all good. I mean, this is this has got so much personality. Typical of John's attack style, just to go at it, full force, Gale. Uh, terrific. I love those teeth. Those. Uh, <laughs> oh God, help us! Those, two, those snaggle tooth looks of the Highlander. Yeah. That horrible dentistry. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, and the, and the lavender sky, the lakes, the blah 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 blah. Okay. Now, it's up to you. You know, it's up to you. You can do what we've been doing on Deirdre's piece, man. You can get. You can make this work. And that's what I'd do if I were you. I would make this all, and I'd resolve myself that I'm going to do something with those eyes. But what I did, what I would do is, I wouldn't think about it too much, and I'd just be very bold, and not care too much, and not agonize too much about it. Just do it. When it, when it feels right, you can look at it for hours maybe, and then you go, ah, bing, I'll do this better. And then leave the hair the way it is, Leave everything else the way it is, because this is another aspect of what makes a thing good to look at. If it's got variety, some of it should be loose and crazily free. Some of it should be so detailed and so painstakingly shaded that it's miraculous. All the more miraculous because everything around it is in chaos. But now you're hitting on art. What art should be? Art is a great thing. It's not just picture. Not what the pop artist thought it was, and not what Duchamp thought it was. It's so much more than that. So much more than that. It's amazing. It's amazing. And you know yourself. You've been in museums. We talked about it. The Isle of the Dead, or paintings like that, that are just so powerful. They speak to you. And I guess the best way to end up is there anybody else left now on the uh, on the hit parade now? Ian yeah. Bernard. Yeah, and Bernard. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's see Bernard next, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it went out of my mind. It'll come back. Now don't touch it. Hmm? It's this is Bernard. Still very wet. This is Bernard. <laughs> my God, Bernard, congratulations, my friend. This is very good, isn't it? Ten minutes. That's all it takes sometimes, but that's for stage one. Now what we want to do is to put all the subtlety we've been talking about. Every mark on here has energy. Every mark is done in a frenzy. This is Sigmund Freud, isn't it? I mean, this is Sigmund himself, I'm sure it must be. Uh, it's, mm -hmm. it's fantastic. Uh, 
It's in oil. Acrylic. 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 That's great. Experiment. Go, go mad with it. That is fabulous. Another thing that I would recommend for you is a palette knife. That I, I assume this has all been done with brushes. Am I right? Credit um, cards, palette knives. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Rookie. So, all right. I don't see the knife work because with with what you've got here, the impasto is very good. What you can get with a good New York, they call it a schmear. Drag it out, and then you get these crinkly effects. Another thing, I, I, I would think you this could take gold. You know, I love to put gold on things because it's a counterpoint. Judiciously used, gold could be good for this.